Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? All right, so this is our. Uh, it's another uh, Patrice O'Neill uh, reacting to the NBA. I think this shit is valuable. It's because not only is it from the time period, this guy's also fucking one of the funniest people like ever. And you know, it's a good time. Yeah. But uh, he's gonna bring up. Uh, this is the video where he brings up LeBron James in the 2011 Heat losing to the Mavericks, and it's fucking funny, man. All right, here we go. We welcome Patrice O'Neill in studio. Big Mama Prods on Twitter. Yeah, talking a little bit about uh, the NBA Finals. I know it's uh, quickly become. By, by the way, if you're if you're afraid of crude, crude humor, just turn the video off. <laughs> like these guys are like. This is before there was mouthpieces on people. Like these guys would say what the fuck ever they wanted, is for the sake of a laugh. So if you're scur- if you're scurrying, do they say the now, Do they say the c word? They do. They say cotton all the time. <laughs> all right, here we go. Coming the past, but this LeBron James thing has a lot of people talking. Well, I mean, I don't think he point shades. I think he. I just think. <laughs> Point shaves. Like I said, I think. Uh, hold up, hold up. People don't realize how bad that was. And if you're like, I know people like LeBron fans get are getting shit on nowadays, right? The fanboys they get crapped on. But, and you know, kind of rightfully so. But sometimes a little bit over the top. Like instead of like trying to welcome them in to like, hey, here's some better basketball. Instead, he just like shit on them, which I understand. Like it is what it is, right? Fair game. But people play that again. Oh, I, I will. <laughs> These fans need to realize, like, how bad that too. That like that's it's one of the worst things. Like in sports, like like such a like a downfall type of moment in sports. Like it was, it was that bad. Before he brings a point shaving, bro. He he looks so bad in that series. Uh, all right, here we go. This LeBron James thing has a lot of people talking. Well, I mean. I don't think he point shaved. I think he, <laughs> I just think point shaved. Like I said, I think, uh, you know, I use a, a Justice League analogy, which is if you're in, if you're in the Super Friends and a meteor is getting ready to hit the earth, mm-hmm. who, everybody in the Justice League turns and looks at who? Fucking Superman. <laughs> but then Superman goes, what, what, what do I do? Well, hey guys, I don't know what to. Superman, you're, like, oh. you're the one who can fly. You're the one who can, who can breathe in space. You're the one who can fly and destroy. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, I just, I just want to be a good teammate and, <laughs> and help, help do my part. No, there's no part to do. I'm Aquaman. I, I only swim. I'm in the water here. <laughs> I can't. Time, say it's too late. I might be able to help get 20,000 dolphins to jump as high as they can and try to hit the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, why are you putting this pressure on me? I'm only Superman. <laughs> put the pressure on him. We did. Not him? No. Look. <laughs> <laughs> why are you why are you putting pressure on me? I'm only Superman. It's like, yo, you're supposed to do this shit, bro. Yeah. Wonder Woman's like, do I use my lasso or something? It's a fucking meteor, bro. You're Superman. Go fucking catch that shit and throw it in the back in the space. How fucking dare you? And that's the that was the perception of things. Like you're the you're supposed to be the best player in the league. And now since you assembled this heat team, you're now the best team in the league. There's no, there's no way around this. You're supposed to win straight up. Anything short of winning the title is a disappointment. Like, and he, he had to have known that coming in, right? He's had, he had to have known that. There's no way he didn't know that that was the expectation. I know people. Right, quote, and he, quote, he just left his, uh, Ohio team, right? Yeah. Well, it's been okay. years. Yeah. What was the name of that team? Oh, this is his first Please. year leaving. First year leaving the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers. This is his first year. He's gone. He's on the ma- he's on the Heat, and they played the Mavericks in the finals. <laughs> and he just does not show up at all. And it's like whoa. It's like why? It's 
it's a, it, most if most people were baseball fans in this little time period, like as fervent baseball fans as they were in like the nineties, it'd be like it look it would look like a rod in the playoffs, where it's like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening, where he's a sucking ass on the biggest stage. It was like it's like that bad. You have to be a baseball fan to know all that shit, but yeah. They're like in similar lights, man. They're both like supposed to be like prodigies and shit. A Rod, uh, LeBron James, they're supposed to be like prodigies, and then on the biggest stage, they end up coming up short. Man. And that one was like there was no, there was nowhere to go. There was no. My team is so bad that you know I try my best, but my team sucks, so we lost. Like he, there was no excuse for that. D Wade played fucking good. Chris Bosh, it just did normal Chris Bosh shit. And you have your role players. The difference was LeBron. <laughs> LeBron was the difference in the series. <laughs> like if he plays to the caliber that we know he's capable of, they fucking win easily. They win that. How how did he do the year before? The year before he, he lost in the playoffs, right? He lost to the Celtics. He, no, not him. The he, the team Heat before he got there. Oh no, they weren't. They weren't like it was Dwayne Wade. And a bunch of role players, uh, like basically, and then they grab two fucking all stars and join D Wade and Miami Heat, which is Chris Bosh and LeBron James, and it forms like this super team. And they had good role players as well. They weren't like it wasn't like a bunch of bums that unless well Patrice will call them bums, but <coughs> yeah, so. There was no excuses there, and he it wasn't that he just played average. It's that he played well below average for what he's supposed to be doing, and that uh, that that okay. was the killer, and that's why everyone looks at that series. It that sh- that series should not be forgotten by any by LeBron fans, LeBron haters, whatever basketball fans. That's like a mega star getting wrecked, like in front of the country. <laughs> Type shit. Pardon the interruption. I'm recording, but go ahead. Oh, tell I, me when we're watching Halo. Oh my God! How dare you interrupt? How dare you interrupt, Patrice, oh, yeah. the great oh, O'Neill? Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'll, you, I'll tag you. Don't worry about it. By the way, that guy likes Game of Thrones using it. Not enough. Oh, that en- bitch. En- enough said. That bitch popped in here. Okay. All right. Every hour is more Patrice son. <laughs> like, but I'm Superman. What do I do? Uh, <laughs> part. No, there's no part to do. I'm Aquaman. I, I only swim. I'm in the water here. <clears throat> I By the time it gets to me, it's too late. I might be able to get 20,000 dolphins to jump as high as they can and try to hit the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, shit. why are you putting this pressure on me? I'm only Superman. <laughs> Who put the pressure on him? We did. Not him? No. Look, man, people say that he called. He I don't he just accepts King James. I think he loves being him, but he doesn't want to be him. He wants to stand on the outside of himself and just watch mm-hmm. himself without dealing with the pressure of being him. It, this it, is what people were thinking the, during that time true, period. Physically, he's the greatest player that ever lived. There's no other player better than him physically. Six foot eight slash nine can handle can jump can body as big as a horse and uh strong as a horse but he just doesn't want he is he's not mean he's not mean enough the jordan used to do things to really demoralize people demoralize people laugh at him close his eyes when he shoots free throws <laughs> uh uh fake you out with one hand like a fake pass Larry Bird used to do that kind of shit. Magic, they, Isaiah, they all were mean. They were mean. He's a nice guy, and he, he wanted his rings, but he doesn't understand, you know, one ring in Cleveland would have been 20 somewhere else. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you see the heroic, uh, godlike uh, treatment that uh, Dirk is getting. 
And, and not because he's a white guy. I mean, I, I rooted for him because he's a, he was a soldier. Stayed in Dallas, shitty he Dallas. Did. Seven <laughs> foot. Nobody wants to play there. Only shoots free throw. I mean, shoots outside jump shots, <laughs> three pointers. Right. Who still does that? Yeah. Except he he's been able to do it consistently. This motherfucker's not a force of nature. He's a <laughs> he's still the same Dirk he always was. And nah, he, came, started, he started doing yeah, he started like doing that Kobe like shit, bro. He started playing with his back to the basket. Posting, he was posting motherfuckers up in that, in oh, that yeah. fucking. Uh, yeah, he was getting. Yeah, he was getting his. He was being gritty. Yeah, he was hitting but, tough but shots. That's the problem. But that's the yeah, tough shots. But it's like that's the problem with LeBron. LeBron never, he never learned how to do that shit consistently. Where like, like you're saying, like you got to develop a mid range fucking shot at some point. Yes, and. It's like it's like oh Patrice is like saying like oh Bird was gritty, or Jordan was like what what do those guys have in common, bro? They they can get their shot off anywhere, and it's wet most most time most times than not that shit's going in. Yes, and he gets, he goes to the free throw line. It felt like when this guy went to the free throw line, Jordan. It was ninety nine percent sure he was gonna <laughs> hit that shit. That's how you felt. <laughs> Like you feel when Curry goes to the line, it's nice. It's automatic. Yes. <laughs> like this person, he can literally sh- close his eyes and shoot, and it's going in <laughs> because they put the time in. And it's like it's almost like like he like he's like he thought he thought it was just going to be given to him. Like nah, bro, you got to put the work in in these in these areas. If you if you're if you are deficient in a certain area, you need to work three times, four times as hard. That's what made Kobe great. He yeah. wasn't the fastest guy. He didn't jump the high, he didn't jump the highest, but he understood this is how I got it. this is what I have to do to make sure I can be the best at this at this fucking um level. Continue to develop that that it still is the most like you see Jimmy But you see Jimmy Jimmy Butler's not a great three point shooter. He's fucking deadly from seventeen feet. Yep. You need you that's what differentiates you. When the game when the game slows down and and and, and you're in the half court, that's what differentiates you, yep. Kevin Durant. That's what differentiates you. Now I'm gonna, I agree, but I also slight. No, I kind of disagree because here, here's here's what I think. And I think I've heard someone say this before, but I just happen to agree with it. It's not. I think LeBron does put the fucking work in at all these things, man. I think he does. I think he does work on his mid range, and he works on his works on his free throws. But the difference is the confidence to do it. The okay. confidence to do it. I think he's looking at bright lights, and it's like if I brick this fucking twenty feet over the fucking backboard from mid range, I'm gonna look like a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> like at, at least at least earlier in his career, maybe maybe less so now. Maybe I think during his like prime years, where he where I think he was working on these things. <clears throat> He never got the confidence to do it. It was that the lack of confidence plus the there's just the raw power, strength, athleticism that would just allow him to like, oh, I just run through you and just score this, right? Yes. But that, but then those moments would happen where it's like the playoffs, where it's like this is do or die. We gotta win this game. Like the other teams, yeah. like we're we gotta do anything we can to stop this motherfucker. Where they put a fucking brick wall in front of him, like you are not going to get a layup here, LeBron. No matter what you do, you are not getting a layup. To where there is no choice but to take the jump shot, and it's like and he can't do it. It's like fuck. I haven't been I haven't been developing this in game. Forget about in the gym when no one's around you, but in game, like developing mid range jump shots in pressure moments. I did not develop that. And it's kind of yeah. That's kind of what happened with A Rod too. Like oh like that's so like you see Drake. You fucking see. I mean, I'm looking at Instagram. When I see yeah. Drake, you see Derek Jeter. You see Derek Jeter, then you see him. It's like, oh, this this guy's a gamer, and you're just you're just really really good at this, but you 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 don't really have that that ex- I guess that that instinct does matter. It matters a lot. And to be fair to these guys, even like a guy like Arod, where no one was expecting this level of like clutch play from Derek Jeter, right? If he if he fa- if he went to the MLB, right, and when did he come in? Ninety five. Something like that, 95, 96. Yeah. Whenever Jeter came in, right, if he failed, it'd be like, oh, well, he failed. Who's our next draft pick to get another shortstop? 
if a rod fails where it's like this is like a prodigy type of guy like yeah, bryce like right. bryce harper too right where it's like you're supposed, you're like a prodigy and you, you can't fuck up griffey yeah. you have a certain you have a certain expectation assigned to you fair or not yeah like you can't like yeah you're and lebron lebron had the biggest out of everybody lebron had the biggest like yo you're you're the chosen one so when yeah. the time, when the moment comes you need to be the chosen one and that's that's where reality hit. Yeah. Now, granted, for I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not saying that like it's an excuse. I'm just saying like we gotta look at all the context. We can't just be like, well, LeBron's just a bum and just move on with your life. Like, nah, you gotta go through all the context. It's not an excuse for him. Like, there's no way you should be letting Jason Terry fucking. If you see him in front of you, you need to mow him down and dunk all over his fucking face. If you see J.J. Beret in front of you, you need to mow them down and dunk on their fucking face. Or post them up and put them right under the fucking hoop and score on them. If there's a if there's a brick wall in front of you, you got to have the confidence to fucking take the mid-range jump shot. In. It's all, they just have the confidence to do it. And I think he had that confidence when he, remember when he played Detroit and he had like fucking, what was he, like 50-something in, in overtime and all that shit? Where he was yeah. just hitting all his fucking jump shots. Well, it's like, there was no pressure. No one's expecting you to win that. You're fucking like what third year in or some shit like that. What was he third, fourth year in? Yeah, fourth year in. No one expects you to be like the fucking NBA champion that year. So you're you can just go like you just play. You just play basketball. But then ex- expectations start happening, right? He started winning toward like the number one seed in the East, and then he went to Miami, where it's like even more expect. Like you better fucking win. There is no, it's it's title or failure when he went to Miami. Right, straight up, it's either fair. No more, yeah, there's no more like excuse making. There's no more like, oh, you're young, you figure it out. Like, yeah. And D. D- Wade didn't did not play like he didn't play like shit at all. He played great actually in the NBA Finals. Yeah. So it's like you are the difference, LeBron. You yourself are the difference. And you have role players like role players on the Mavericks like hitting these shots that you're supposed to be. Jason <laughs> Terry, bro. Yeah. Man. It's like, yeah. It's like, why not get, get get greedy, LeBron? Take your shots early, score your points early, and then be a decoy later if you're that like pressured and worried about it. But instead, he just like shrunk like damn near like the entire time, in, entire game in, in some of those games. Not all of them, but uh, some of those games, he like he scored like eight points like in a game, an entire game. It's like holy shit, bro. Like holy fuck, you're LeBron James, bro. But yeah, it is what it is. All right, let's, uh, here we go. He's been able to do it consistently. This motherfucker's not a force of nature. He's a, he's still the same Dirk he always was. And it calls him a caveman. He, he, looks, like, he looks like a big he looks caveman. Like a caveman. Yeah, caveman he's a, face. You know, Dirk, just, just a normal, you know, that, that fucking, I'm super humble guy who is starting to make me sick. This, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Derrick Rose is that. I don't even think my mother. It's like, sh- suck a dick. You know, I love my mom too, nigga. I love my mom too. Everybody loves their mom. But you're this humble thing. So what you think about winning the game? I'm just happy that, you know, I'm, I love my teammates and I love my mom. Like, Dirk is, you know, he he was in he was in I don't want to enjoy it mode. Yeah, so much that Patrice when he won, would he kill it to that do. if he was doing like yeah, sports talk. Away. He'd kill it. And for yeah, that's just crazy. Like, you know, those games are most boring. Like, oh yeah, eighty six, eighty three, bro. That shit was crazy. Yeah, it's like LeBron scored eight points in, in game five. Game yeah, game four. Game four. three of eleven. Like is eleven like eight points is bad, but eleven shots is worse from the supposedly yeah. the best player in the league. I think Kobe was still kind of, kind of like that guy. He was kind of that guy still. I think, but yeah, he would. But LeBron's right, like right there, and eleven shots in an entire game. Yeah, nineteen shots the next game. Eight and eight and nineteen, seventeen points. He had a triple double. Yeah, but, but it's like, and then that's like, yo, now you look at today, like, yeah, yeah, oh, he had a triple double, and it's like, yo, this guy, I know. I know. how's he getting triple doubles? What does what does it mean in the context of the game? Exactly, twenty one points, nine of fifteen. <clears throat> he wins. 
it's it's like people talk about the the when uh I forgot one of these guys made a video about the free throw differential between the like the Lakers and and whatever team they're playing that night. Yeah. And it's like if you don't think that fucking means a lot in an M- in an NBA basketball game, I don't care how trash the defense is today or how like open lanes are for for the scorers and all that shit. I don't care about that like the rules like that. If the free throw disparity is like that, that is fucking insane. That is like you have a super advantage, a super duper advantage. So I don't even know what point I was going on. <laughs> I was going to go somewhere with that, but whatever. No, the context, <laughs> uh, yeah, the context of how this guy, well, the NBA in general, but the context of how these people get points. Like, how does how does um Luca get oh, yeah, fucking uh, seventy points? So oh, this guy's going to the line fucking thirty times a game or shit. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, exactly. I brought I th- okay. I remember now. I brought it up because of the you. You said the context of the game, like, like oh yeah, triple double. But like, how, like, when were these? Like, what type of assists? What type of rebounds? What type of points? Same thing applies to like the free the the free throw thing, where it's like, oh my god, the Lakers beat whatever team by by four points. Wow, what a win against one of the best teams in the league. And it's like you see the free throw disparity. It's like, well, that's. I mean, that puts it in question for me. Like, I'll have to look, like, actually watch the game and see if it was like, oh, the Lakers just pulled a win out versus these guys aren't getting any fucking foul calls. That's crazy. Or they're getting called, or they're getting fouls called on them, you know, over and over. So, yeah, these minute things are important. You can't just look at the end box score and say, like, well, Lakers won. All right. Oh, LeBron had a triple double. He had a good game. He, there, there's more context in, in in any sport than just simple shit like that. But uh, all right, here we go. While and, and, off. and when it was teasing him about him coughing and shit, and he's like, "They're just." Chilling. I remember that. It's like, what? They did what that. You, you lost that series after doing that. It's crazy. For, uh, 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 <laughs> this is my question for life. Mm. What, what, not... Uh, okay, so at, at that point he's gonna go into the uh, I endorse hate speech type stuff. Oh yeah, that's when Dirk was like sick, right? Dirk was sick after game one or game two or something like that. And they were making fun of him. Like, Wade and him were making fun of yeah, him. Yeah, they were mocking him. And, and uh, they're scoring like forty, like three straight games. Like hold up, shit on them. The Mavericks on them after that. That's embarrassing, man. That's super duper embarrassing. Holy shit! But uh, all right, there's once again, there's a time period, right? Uh, it, this isn't like some guy retroactively looking at LeBron James's career and be like, "Well, like, oh, LeBron, LeBron this, LeBron that." Like, no, this is straight up from the time period. This is a reaction to what happened. I believe the day before in, in there where they're at in time. I think it's the day before where they lost the series or something like that. And obviously a funny guy and all that stuff. But it's like just a normal basketball fan. Like looking at that like it's like, bro, you're the guy with all the superpowers and you're not stepping up. That three for eleven game for eight points, Ant, yeah. I it, it I think basketball fans would have more respect if he went three for fucking twenty five. Cause like, oh, you were trying. You're just fucking way off that night, bro. Yeah, like in the closeout game, fucking Dirk shot the ball 27 times. Yeah, nine to 27. He, I, he didn't give a fuck. You just... You're the best player. We live or die by what you do. We live, we live and die with you, type of shit. Jason Terry had fucking 27 points off the bench. 11 to 16, three to seven. Deshaun Stevenson, oh, he he only shot three, three of five from three. <laughs> That's the difference. Yeah, you can't. He was, literally Deshaun Stevenson was the difference. Those three threes, they won by they won by ten points. And and by the way, the like I know people make videos to, about today's NBA where they're saying like oh like oh LeBron needs help right that's like a kind of like yeah. a meme a meme type of thing. Well, guess what. They were saying that back then when he was on the Cavs. You're yeah. Like, like, yo, LeBron, LeBron needs help. LeBron needs help. I was thinking of that too. And it's almost like, oh, like this guy just, he keeps recycling that. 
that fucking rhetoric. Like, yo, you don't understand the context of you went to the Heat, you formed the super team, you left the Heat, you went to Cleveland, you became a GM, you <laughs> traded away Wiggins, you traded away all these fucking players. Kyrie got sick of your shit. He, he <laughs> leaves, then you leave. Then you go to the Lakers. You had Brandon Ingram. You had all these fucking players. You got rid of them. Now you're telling me you need help. And now you don't. Now you're like a shell of yourself. You don't play defense. You're constantly complaining. Like literally, that's that's your number one occupation on the court. Is complain to the ref about everything to your teammates. Like everybody's on eggshells with you now. Yeah, and the the point of, of me bringing that up is. When he went to the Heat, that excuse is no longer present. No. And in fact, on paper, they're supposed to be the. How long was there? Four years. He's on the. He's on the Heat. Four years. Yeah, I right? think even. 2011, 2010, 2011, 2012, 20. No, 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 no. Go, go. The he was 20, 2010, 2011. That's one season. 2011, 2012. 2012. He won against KD. <clears throat> then he. Then he beat the Spurs. Then he lost to the Spurs. Four years. Yep. So he's there four years. On paper, they're supposed to be the best team in the NBA. And he, only and he almost, the remember, he almost lost to the Spurs if Ray Allen doesn't hit that crazy shot. Exactly. It, it For me, two out win. of four is damning. Yeah, but a win's a win. To, for me, two, two out of four is damning. Because you're, not, you're damning. not supposed to lose to that fucking Mavericks team at all. And you're not supposed no. to listen to the old man fucking Spurs. <laughs> you're not. I know Kawhi no. was there that Kawhi last season. Kawhi shit it on him. Yeah, Kawhi shit it on him. But still, it's still the old man Spurs, and you guys are all in your – you're still in your primes, and you're fucking elite player, and you're supposed to be the best team in the league. There's no way you should – like, I'm sorry. So, like, for, for that team and the way it's built, and you should have the supposed best player in the league – it's like you better you better make three you better win three out of four, not two out of four. In fact, in fact, you should you should win four out of four. But let's forget about that. We'll say we'll say two out of four or three out of four. So it'd be a disappointment either way. Yeah, I want, I want to go to that point about like expectations, right? Like, so you said there was no there wasn't the expectations when he was he was newer. Um, but yeah. with Cleveland, yeah, with Cleveland, yeah, yeah. But w- once you win, like it, what I'm hearing is is like almost a stepping away from like a, almost a fear of, of those expectations. But it, I remember um, from uh, from Michael Jordan's uh, trainer, yeah, his, his separate trainer, right? Girl and uh, yeah, 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 him. He was saying like, so after they win a championship. They're gonna be there the next morning, four in the morning. They're they're gonna they're gonna be training because yeah. that win means the next year they're gonna have that expectation even even more. So so he's not like partying out the next day. He knows that that that's on him. So he has to um, he has to train. That, like, that's, that's 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 Kobe. Too. And he puts it yeah, hmm? that's that's that that's that that psycho fucking mentality of what yeah. of what. Uh, Patrice was talking about of like these killers that are like like kind of obs- obsessed crazy. obsessed with yeah. winning type of shit or obsessed with being the best yeah. and, like obviously the best means you got to win too so like yeah these guys are like obsessed with shit like that that is that is psycho like right like because anybody would be like okay I won I deserve a day off like it, yeah. it it's not a trainer telling them to go in they're doing it themselves yeah exactly but at the same time. uh the marketing around LeBron is that he is that guy or he is one of those guys, the crazy hard worker, philanthropist, like all the entire image of LeBron James, not for the fans or maybe not, not for the, like the core basketball fans. Right. But for like the general population, like, Oh, LeBron, like he's supposed to be that guy. The, the core fans of basketball know the difference they can, or just someone who's like a fan of just athletics period. You can see the difference between like someone who's a fucking savage and someone who's like, like, oh, you're just you're really good, but you know, uh, <laughs> you're not this guy over here. Like the core fans of, of sports can see that shit, but on paper, LeBron's supposed to be that. He's supposed to be that animal, and you know what? I bet he he was working out and all that shit. 
that's that's the thing about it. I think he was doing a lot of these workouts, and he wasn't like just lazy or anything like that. It's just the the mentality, man. When pressure moments hit, like, or pressure seasons, even like that shit just didn't work out for him. I don't know, but I don't know. Like, there's something to be said about that, Jordan. Like, even to this day, bro. Like, you're telling me Kobe, year twenty, is missing free throws, bro. Like, like the way this guy misses free throws. <laughs> And there's no, he's in fucking Charlotte. There's no fucking pressure on him. Like, there's uh, some, like, I'm telling you, bro, like, there's something to that, too, bro. Like, maybe for maybe. whatever it is, like, he has never owned that part of this game. That's, that's a good point. That, that's, it's possible. Like, because not, like, your free throw in the first quarter is in some pressure moment, but yet he's still shooting whatever, low 70s or something, or high 60s the next season or whatever. So I don't know. Maybe he'd, maybe there's a mental block as far as him like actually evolving yeah. in that area. There has to be something. Cause I, I have to assume the work ethic is there. Like, I, like he doesn't seem like the, like as much as people dislike LeBron, like there's no way like he doesn't work hard at basketball yeah. and, and stand yeah. in shape yeah. and all that yeah. stuff. Maybe he maybe it's lazy in a different way where it's like I don't need to do it because I'll, I'm gonna get I my I'm gonna get my 25 you. points. It's all yeah, good. you can just ring it through you. <laughs> maybe maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. But uh, man, that's worthy of the discussion. If he, was, uh, if he was three inches shorter, forty pounds lighter, he might he might have he might have gave a little more effort on that end. <laughs> maybe. Or he wouldn't maybe. be in a league. Right? Maybe he wouldn't be averaging 25. Maybe he needs to be okay with averaging 18 while improving in these other areas so that when crunch time maybe. hits, he can hit, he can be in these spots and hit these shots. Maybe. Maybe that, is the, maybe that is the thing. I don't know. All right. There's our reaction to Patrice talking about the 2011 NBA Finals and kind of LeBron James, a.k.a. Superman in general. Even though that, I think no, D-Wade was Flash and Shaq was Superman. Whatever. D-Wade brought up the, the Superman celebration whatever all right there's our reaction <laughs>